Another daycare in the area being investigated by the state after a mom claims her child was hurt in their care. She says he had three knots on his head and a black eye. She says the center could not explain how they got there. Hallie Turner has the story. She doesn't want you to see her face. Instead, she wants you to hear her son's story. It's hard. I'm a single mom and I work full time. It is. It's hard at work, you know, to go through the day, but it's especially hard when you, your children are in the care of a stranger that you have to trust. According to a police report, this mom reported to the Richmond County Sheriff's Office about, quote, several injuries to her son after she picked him up from daycare. As I started to, you know, brush my hand across his head, um, I felt lumps. There was three lumps, two on his forehead and then a big lump on the back of his neck. I was furious. She says she took those concerns right back to the center. And I said, hey, did he fall or something happen? But she said, no, ma'am, nothing, absolutely nothing happened. It infuriated me because I'm sitting here looking at my son who has three contusions on his head, severe swelling on his forehead and the daycare is telling me that nothing happened. She filed a complaint with the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning. We found previous documents that show an employee grabbed a child by the neck and dug their nails into a two-year-old's skin. Then the worker was arrested for simple battery. Yes, I want justice for my son and I also want parents to know that there is a resource where you can check any complaint that DECAL has made on the child care site. I didn't know that was available. If I would have known that and had that resource, I would have never sent my children to this daycare. In Augusta, Hallie Turner on your side. We did reach out to that daycare but did not hear back yet. DECAL is still investigating. But parents, when you do your homework on daycares, DECAL wants to make sure you do check their site so you can read through those documents. We're going to have a direct link to that on our website, WRDW.com.